Emil Rakovita. Emil Rakovita, Romanian pronunciation, also spelled Reykjavits, November 15, 1868, November 17, 1947, was a Romanian biologist, zoologist, speleologist, explorer of Antarctica and the first biologist in the world to study the Arctic life. Together with Grigori Antipa, he was one of the most noted promoters of natural sciences in Romania. Rakovita was the first Romanian to have gone on a scientific research expedition to the Antarctic, as well as an influential professor, scholar and researcher. Early Life Born on the family estate, in Shurinesht, Vaslui County, he started his education in Yashi, where he had eye on Kriyanka as a teacher, and continued his secondary education at the Institute Talunite, a private high school for boys in Yashi, taking his baccalaureate in 1886. He then studied law at the University of Paris, obtaining a law degree in 1889. But he did not pursue a law career, instead turning to the natural sciences. His mentor was zoologist and biologist Henri de la Cazie du Thiers, a professor at the Sorbonne and at the Museum National d'Histoire Naturelle. Rakovita earned a BS degree in 1891, and a PhD degree in 1896, for a thesis on la lobe cephalique et l'encephale des annelides polychaete, the cephalus lobe and the encephalon of polychaete as annelids. The Belgica Expedition As a promising young scientist, Rakovita was selected to be part of an international team that started out on a research expedition to Antarctica, aboard the ship Belgica. The expedition was led by the Belgian officer Adrien de Gerlach, who was also the ship's owner. Ship and Crew On August 16, 1897, under the aegis of the Royal Society of Geography in Brussels, Belgium, the Belgica, a former Norwegian wooden whaler, left the port of Antwerp, setting sail for the south. It was the ship that gave its name to the whole expedition. The three-mast ship was equipped with a 160-horsepower engine. The 19 members of the team were of various nationalities, a rare thing for that time. The first mate of the vessel was Roald Amundsen, who was to conquer the South Pole in 1911. Apart from Rakovita, the team was made up of Belgian physicist Emil Danko, Polish geologist and oceanographer Henrik Arktowski with his assistant Antoni Boleslav de Braulski and American physician Frederick Cook. Scientific Work The team left the deck of the ship 22 times, in order to collect scientific data, to conduct investigations and experiments. Rakovita was the first researcher to collect botanical and zoological samples from areas beyond the Antarctic Circle. Belgica made the first daily meteorological recordings and measurements in Antarctica, every hour, for a whole year. The scientists also collected information on oceanic currents and terrestrial magnetism, with as many as 10 volumes of scientific conclusions being published at the end of the expedition, which was considered a success. The 1898 Obstacles The expedition encountered several hardships. Between March 10, 1898 and March 14, 1899, Belgica was caught between ice blocks, making it impossible to sail any further. It was a difficult year for the whole team. For instance, the crew had to carve a 75-meter-long canal through a 6-meter-thick layer of ice, in order to generate a waterway by which to sail to a navigable body of water. Belgica returned to Europe in 1899 without two team members, who had died during the expedition, a young Norwegian mariner Carl Wink, lost overboard, and Emil Danko, died natural causes. Rakovita's diary, published in 1899, makes mention of the difficulties that the team members had to endure. Photos of the time show that he was hardly recognizable after returning from the expedition. The results of his research were published in 1900, under the title La vie des animaux et des plantes dans l'Antarctique, The Life of Animals and Plants in Antarctica. A year after his return, Rakovita was appointed director of the Banyuls sur Mer Resort and editor of the Review Archives de Zoologie Experimentale et Générale. Later Life Emile Rakovita continued his research, contributing to speleology and exploring over 1,400 caves in France, Spain, Algeria, Italy, and Slovenia. He is considered to be, together with René Yinel, one of the founders of biospeleology. He was particularly interested in isophyta, of which he discovered many. In 1919, Rakovita became head of the biology department at the Upper Dacia University, now the Babes Boya University, in Cluj. He founded the world's first speleological institute on April 26, 1920 there, 
first as a section which was, however, to function independently since 1956, with Professor Constantine Modas. Iser, Institutul Speologic Emil Rakovita the Romanian for the Emil Rakovita Speleologic Institute, a branch of the Cluj Institute was open in Bucharest. In 1920, he became a member of the Romanian Academy, and remained a major figure of scientific life in Romania until his death. In 2006, the first Romanian Antarctic Exploration Station was named Lorakovita. Antarctic Ex